All right, I'm going to show you how to create a coded message. Your discussion board for this unit will ask you to code a message and then to decode one of your classmates' messages. So I will post a video for both steps. The first thing we're going to talk to about is how to create a coded message. Okay, so to start with, everyone is using the same base. This is not your code, but everyone's using the same base as to A is going to be represented by the number 1, B will be represented by 2, C by 3, D by 4, and so on. And as you're doing this assignment, I would suggest having this right in front of you on a piece of paper or something as you're putting your message into code, and then as you're decoding the other person's message, have it right there. It makes it a lot easier as you're trying to take it from letters to numbers and then back from numbers to letters. Okay, so that's our base. From there, what you need to do is pick a message. My message that I've selected is decode this message. Now, pretty lame, but it works for our example here. So this is the message that I am going to put into code for someone else. The very first step is to take your letters and write them in number form. Okay, so for example, my message here starts with a D, and if I look over here, I know that D is supposed to be represented by the letter 4. Okay, so let's start with that. So I know my first number is going to be 4. E is represented by the number 5. So then I have 5, and you'll want to leave a space here so you know that's 4 and 5 and not 45. C is represented by the letter number 3. D, once again, was the letter, oh, I skipped O. Careful. O is 15. D is 4. And E is 5, once again. So this is my first word so far. And this is not coded yet. All I've done is take the letters and write them in the number form that we talked about. And if I continue with that, okay, I have my, my letters decode this message. And here's what they would be in number form. So notice again, it's just what I did on the previous slide. D is 4. E is 5, C is 3. Now when you're writing this out, again I would suggest leaving space between each of your numbers and then to show that a separation between two words I would put a line um, or dots or something to show that this is a break and here's a new word, this is a break and here's a new word. Okay, So I've taken my message and put it all into numbers. Notice T is the number 20. Okay, I did this entire thing. So you pick a message, which I've done. You take that message and change the num letters into numbers. Your next job is to code that message. It's not even coded yet, okay? And in order to do that, you have to pick a function. The function I have selected is f of x equals 3x minus 1. Now you'll want to pick, some, the simpler the function, the easier this is. Please at least use a slope and a number added or subtracted from the end. Uh, challenge yourself a little bit. <laughs> Make sure it's a, it has to be a function, okay? So um, square roots are going to be tougher. I probably wouldn't use any of those. Um, anything real complicated, I wouldn't use. But do challenge yourself a little bit. We are going to use this to code the message, okay? So what we do, let me pin back is you take your first number, put it into the function, and whatever comes out, that's the first letter in my code. So 4, if I put 4 into this function, I have 3 times 4 minus 1. And a lot of you can probably have done this in your head, but I just want to make sure everyone knows how I'm getting my numbers. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 1 is 11. So the first number in my coded message will be 11. Okay, then you do the same for the next number, 5. So we have 3 times 5 is 15 minus 1. Okay, 3 times 5 is 15 minus 1 is 14. So the next number in my code will be 14. This is really sloppy. 
I'll go to a typed page next. Then I do the next number, 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 1 is 8. I'll put an 8 here. 15. 3 times 15 is 45. Minus 1 is 44. 4, again, I've done this before, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 1 is 11. If you use repeats of numbers, it simplifies things a little. And again, 5, 3 times 5 is 15, minus 1 is 14. So I've now coded the first word. Um, like I said, we all started with the same base. So if I just put this as my code, it's not very hard to decode because we all know what the code was for that. That's why we put it into a function so that it's harder to decode the message. All right? You don't want to code a message and then have it be really easy to solve. Okay. So here is my the start of my coded message and then I would put a line break here and start on the next word. 3 times 20 is 60 minus 1 is 59. Okay. So hopefully you see how that works and you would do the entire rest of your numbers here. Let's look at what that looks like for mine. So if I did the entire thing it would look like this. Okay. I have now coded my message. Here is what I would put for my discussion post. Okay. For my discussion post, I put the coded message and the function I used to code it. Okay. Let me show you again. Okay. So this was my numbers. Okay. Just to represent my letters. I coded it to get this. This is what you post in your discussion board. Okay, so I'm posting my coded message and the function I use to code it. And then one of my classmates will come along and decode that using an inverse. And I will post a video on how to decode as well. But this is how you would code your message. If you have any questions, please let me know.